It's a tradition here that stretches back for centuries. Small wooden fishing boats make their way out to sea in the morning light, searching for the day's catch. But not everything here is the same. Now, within striking range, are Israeli gunboats patrolling these waters, enforcing a strict naval blockade that fishermen say threatens their livelihood. Ten minutes before you came, they were shooting at us. The bullets hit the surface of the water around us. They're trying to distance us from our fishing. Like many of Gaza's fishermen, Mohammed Abu Hasira says fishing has been in his family's blood for generations. Nowadays, it's become a dangerous game of cat and mouse. Israeli gunboats chase down fishing boats they deem to have come too far out to sea. Many fishermen here claim that the Israeli Navy tries to intimidate them by firing at their boats. When I work now, I have to keep looking left and right, frightened that they might come towards us and shoot at us. As soon as I pull the net in, I always pull the boat back right away. Fishermen here say under the Oslo Peace Accords, they're permitted to fish more than 30 kilometers offshore, but that the Israelis have changed the rules, allowing them to fish only five kilometers off the coast, sometimes less, severely limiting their hauls in such shallow water. Israel claims these boats are smuggling weapons. I heard the first two shots, and when I heard the third one, I felt my leg was exploding and blood was everywhere. This is a bullet that struck Allah Fuad al-Halbir. He tells us an ordinary day of fishing turned bad when he was shot in the leg, he says, by the Israelis. Doctors think it will be about a month until he can walk again. The Ministry of Agriculture estimates that 12 fishing vessels have been destroyed and 70 damaged since the war began. For the estimated 4,000 fishermen here, it has added a new dimension to an old tradition. This is our only income. We don't know how to do anything else. Do they want us to leave the sea? We will never do that. As Gazans try to restore normality to their daily lives following the war, Gaza's fishermen press on, hoping to net more fish than catching bullets. Mike Kirsch, Al Jazeera, Gaza Harbor.